Hey everybody, it's Slick and Spartan with a brand new tutorial and tips and tricks for the assault rifle portion of Call of Duty 4, Mon no, Call of Duty 6, Modern Warfare 2 weapons. And I am Slick, here with Spartan. Hey, what's up guys? And uh, we're just gonna start this tutorial right off. We're gonna do pros and cons of every weapon, how to use them, we're gonna rate them on a scale of 1 to 10, and we're gonna do this right, and we're gonna do this perfect, and we're gonna make sure you guys get online and start playing like pros. Okay, so we're going to start off with the first weapon, the M4A1. As you can see, the accuracy is kind of good. Damage isn't that hot, so it takes a few bullets to kill him. Uh, range is alright, and fire rate, I'd say, I don't know, fire rate's a little bit slow for an automatic weapon. It's a pretty fast gun. Yeah, it is, it is pretty fast, and it's nobody really cares about mobility, because you just put on the right. lightweight. Alright, uh, so, what do you think about the pros here? Spartan, what do you think is good about him? Um, you know, this gun's pretty good. Burst firing with this gun is pretty good doing that. Um, just throw a silencer on that and maybe a red dot and you'll be perfect. So, yeah, bling, bling's pretty smart for this. Uh, you always want to shoot in burst. It's a uh, pretty good gun for medium to long range. And uh, so, like, if you're playing on a small map like Rust or Scrapyard or Skid Row, you just want to make sure that you do not use this weapon unless you're just going to go all out automatic because automatic rifles are great for close quarters but you need to short burst it when they're from a far away distance or long range. Yeah. Alright, so, so far the pros are it's pretty good at killing people I'd say. It's a great starter weapon for all the beginners. Um, but I think the only problem with it is the fact that it has one of the lowest damage rates of all the assault rifles. So it takes a few bullets to kill, and with the silencer on it, it drops down the damage even more. So, but it's still a pretty all-around nice rifle, and I'm pretty sure lots of people would be really off good using it. So uh, yeah, we'll move on. FAMAS. Alright, what do you got to say about this, Spartan? Nah, this gun this is my number one best gun. Love this gun. Love it forever. Um, This gun, all I got to say is I love it. Amazing accuracy, amazing fire rate, and amazing range. It's just all out amazing. It takes one burst most of the time just to kill someone. And then if it doesn't kill them the first burst, you're definitely going to kill them with the second burst. Yeah, I'd also like to say this gun definitely resembles the M16 a lot. It's great with a red dot sight and a silencer. It sends a semi-automatic and only shoots three bullets at a time. So it really yeah, is very effective. I'm kind of sad about that because a full auto for Moss would be so much better. Works so much better. It's also, there's, there's barely any cons for it. Except maybe um, the iron sight is pretty good, but maybe it could be a little bit better. And the accuracy is amazing. There's really nothing wrong with this gun. If you want to use it, and you can go all out with it. A lot of people get amazing kill streaks off it. Yeah. So let's move on to the scar. Now this gun is one of Slick's personal favorites. <laughs> it's a great gun, very effective. Damage doesn't look too hot, but it's amazing. It only takes two bullets to kill. And the iron sight is basically the best iron sight in the game. It's almost 100% accurate most of the time. Great for long range, great for close range, great for um, indoor bursting, great for everything. The only sad thing about this gun is the fire rate is definitely really slow and the clip size is about 20 bullets. So you want to always have scavenger on and sleight of hand is sometimes a no because you're just not gonna have enough pull yeah, you probably won't yeah scavenger is that you said that yes yeah, sca right, scavenger. scavenger's definitely yeah. definitely worth it definitely moving on to tar 21 this is a yeah. great great gun accuracy is absolutely terrible but it's still some well most people usually just work around I that and so. work out with it uh damage is definitely good takes two bullets to kill great for close range and long range um, the only problem is red dot sight isn't exactly always the best choice. It's kind of a weird red dot sight, but I've seen a lot of people go pro with it. Yeah, silencer. Silencer, silencer or, heartbeat or heartbeat sensor, sensor yeah. all the way. They definitely work out. Fire rate's a little slow, but you can get around that. So basically the only con is that red dot sight isn't as good as it should be. And fire rate is definitely not good unless you're going to get in someone's face with steady aim. All right, now we're moving on to the FAL, all right? Well, let Spartan take over the beginning part of this. All right, the FAL out of my top 10 favorites, this one's got to probably be my sixth favorite gun. It shoots one burst, but most of the time, two two bullets, one bullet. Yeah, it's amazing. Hardcore, this gun's just 
Like completely, it's just it's amazing. It's just one shot killing. Yeah, I know. Isn't it? Yeah, I it's, <laughs> ACOG silencer. That's I mean that gun's amazing. It's basically a sniper like the M twenty one, except it takes two shots to kill. Uh, Red dot is okay, but prefer holographic or ACOG. And yeah. sleight of hand is sometimes a must because it takes a long time to reload it. Well, not really a really long time. Just like if you're in close combat, definitely do not pick this gun. It's yeah. It's not very good. Uh, there's Second. a lot of people use mods with it, um, yeah. and I don't prefer to use a mod. I don't have a mod, so I just use my fingers most of the time, and <laughs> getting up close and personal someone is not a good idea with this gun. So basically the pros about it is it's huge damage, definitely kills everything, but the fire rate is terrible. Well, that's because it's single burst. Yeah, that's, that's why it's, it's got to be a terrible burst. fire rate. Yeah. But yeah, so uh, it's definitely a good gun for hardcore, but standard, you just got to get a little bit better with it. Moving on to the M16, all right? This is one of the best guns in the game, all right? Three-shot burst, semi-automatic, kills one burst almost every time. Accuracy is amazing, damage is amazing. Range, prefer medium to long, so kind of big maps, but up close and personal, even without steady aim, you can just burst a kid in the face and they'll die and drop instantly. So, the only, I don't think, you can you think of a con for this gun? I don't uh, really think of a con because it reloads nice and quick. The con, the con for me though is when I get up in personal. Sometimes I just can't hit them. I mean, I it's for me like if I'm doing that, I don't know. Sometimes I have to have steady aim, but I've seen some people they just like like commando or ninja. A lot of people use ninja, so it's like ninja red dot or ninja silencer or yeah, whatever. Definitely COD four favorite. All right. Yeah. Be definitely great gun. Red dot sight's amazing. Holographic sight is amazing. Just use this thing, all right? You guys will get used to it real fast. It's great for a beginner, great for a pro, great for everyone. Moving on to the ACR, all right? This is this is by that. far Slick's favorite gun. I prefer My this for everyone. Pros, beginners, BKs, noobs. It doesn't matter. If you use good. this gun, you will love yourself. The pros, amazing accuracy. Best accurate gun in this game. Use this for long range, close range, and short range. The only bad thing about this gun is the damage is pretty bad. It takes three bullets to kill, but a lot of people like me can just work around it. Iron Sight is second best to the SCAR. Uh, yeah. It's great Iron Sight. Use this gun with silencer, use this gun FMJ, heartbeat sensor, everything works out. Usually you can bling it with red dot and silencer. It's an amazing gun. Trust me, it works out. But some people cannot work around the freaking... Uh, a lot of people can't work around the damage because they just can't kill yeah. people. They can't stand amazing getting gun, killed though. quick. It's great amazing for sneaking gun. around, shooting people in the back. It definitely pisses off a lot of people. <laughs> okay, amazing moving on gun, to though. the F2000. I'm just going to let Spartan take this over because I officially hate this gun. Alright, um, to tell you guys the truth, I don't know why he hates it. It's a really good gun. Once you get the red dot and the silencer, you know, just bling it. Red dot silencer works amazing with this gun. It's got bad dam damage, so you definitely have to be the first one to start shooting. But thanks to its fire rate, you can be the first one to start shooting. It's got amazing accuracy with the red dot. You definitely want to burst with this gun because I just full auto, the, um, because of the, what is it? <laughs> The, um, the damage is terrible. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, you, you uh, full auto burst indoors next to a guy. Recoil is terrible. It yeah, just but, kicks up. But that's when you want to burst with the gun. You <laughs> recoil. I definitely, you I definitely do admit it is a pretty good gun with sleight of hand or scavenger. Marathon. Uh, I tried it for a game. Went positive two instead of plus twenty, like I do with every other gun. But, but I told him not to use marathon. Yeah, but <laughs> it's okay. Um, <laughs> So the only the only pros about this gun, I think, are um, it's got an amazing fire rate, best assault rifle for fire rate, and yeah, that, that works out pretty nicely. Yeah. Uh, the only con is the damage is terrible, so you have to make sure that you are very accurate with it. Move on to the AK-47. Okay, we do not have any clips, any details, any anything on this gun besides it is the best gun besides the ACR for this game. It is the last gun you unlock before you can prestige and do anything important. Um, we will oh, be giving out a whole specific. tutorial for the AK-47 as soon as we oh, get it unlocked gosh. and do it everything. We might do a montage. Every we'll talk I about it. Alright guys, Every I really hope you I enjoyed this assault rifle tutorial. We'll come out with dream. other weapon Every tutorials later. And Every we'll hope you guys subscribe and catch us later. Peace.